Hi happy unicorns! If you're watching this video, it means you want to know more about the Fascia Blaster or you just want some giggles, whatever the case may be. Smile! What oil should you use? Well, people use a different varieties of oils all the time when blasting. Ashley Black herself, the creator of the blaster, she has a whole line of oils that you can go to her website. I have a link in the description below and you can buy one of hers and it works out great. My favorite, of course, are in the kitchen. Avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, so many wonderful oils. If you can eat it, you can put it on your skin. Except for canola oil. Don't use canola oil. And of course, there's a serious debate on baby oil. Baby oil can cause rashes, serious breakouts, and it's just really not good for your skin. I mean, who wants oil made from babies? Not this mama. But all seriousness aside, just be safe and stick to oils that absorb into your skin easily and won't block your pores. Now that you have your oils picked out, let's talk about heating sources. Personally, I love a good 30 minute workout. I mean, there's nothing better than heating yourself from the inside out, right? But you can always stick to an external heat source as well, such as a sauna, one of those cute at home tent saunas. I love those, they're adorable, I need to get one. A space heater. I use that in combination with my workouts. And of course, there's nothing better than maybe like a hot shower, a hot bath, or sunbathing. Just be sure to wear plenty of sunscreen. When fascia blasting, you always want to stick to going in a straight line. You never want to go in circles. That'll just mess up entirely what you plan on doing. So remember, up and down, side to side, and diagonal. And if this is your first time, I definitely recommend going gently on yourself. Don't go too deep and don't go too long. Listen to your body. It'll give you cues on how much you can handle. Now, bruises are something that a lot of people tend to be scared of, and you don't have to be scared about these bruises, all right? These aren't the same type of bruises you get when you get into a ferocious battle with a coffee table. These are healing bruises, oxygen-rich blood flowing to the newly released fascia. But if you're still afraid of getting bruises, you can easily avoid them by just blasting lightly. Now for the part I know a lot of you have been kind of scared of. The detox. But don't worry. Everybody experiences different detox symptoms. So when you hear one girl had this, it may not happen to you. But here's a list of things you may or may not experience, such as fatigue, bloating, headaches, nausea, acne. And again, those are just the physical detox symptoms that you may encounter on your blasting journey. But there's a much more serious one we need to talk about, and that's the emotional detox. Now, not everybody experiences it, but I want you to be cautious when going into it and know that nothing's wrong with you. You're just getting rid of years of emotional baggage, finally just leaving your body. Here's some things I experienced personally on my psychedelic emotional detox trip. <laughs> Uncontrollable crime. This chili is so good. <laughs> hey, how are you? Anger. You wanna know how I'm doing? How I'm doing? Anxiety. Now these sound like really scary things, and in the moment they are. But I want you to know, stay calm and trust the process and be sure to drink plenty of water and you will get through it really quickly. Speaking of trusting the process, let's say you're doing a few sessions and you notice you're starting to look maybe a little worse than when you started. Like, you're starting to see more dimples, more ripples, more 
just more not what you want. Hey, it's okay. Be happy. Something's happening. You're breaking up those chunks. You're getting that fascia smooth, smooth as a baby's bottom. Just remember that and trust the process. So far we've covered how to blast, what to expect when blasting, but how do we clean our blasters? Well, good question. Everybody has a different method. Some people much prefer the dishwashing method. They just stick it in there, let it go, done. Nothing to worry about. Some people like to get in and scrub it real good, maybe with some baking soda, some you know, soap, anything real good, right? Personally, I love a good shower blast. That's right, you heard me. I blast in the shower with soap. Not only am I cleaning myself and my blaster, I'm also getting in a good blast with a, a heat source, my shower. It's perfect. I love it. So, whatever you choose to do with this blasting knowledge, I hope you do it with a smile. Happy blasting. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. And also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later, unicorns. Bye!